Hello and welcome to the show. Now, I am a big fan of the British touring cars, as I'm sure plenty of you watching uh, this are. And there's an all right selection. They're a little bit all over the place in terms of years, but we have the Astra, we have a Focus, we have a Mercedes, we have the Lavorg. You know, we've got a, a, a decent ish selection of touring cars, and naturally we wanted to go racing with them. And we were going to try and follow the actual. Uh, format for the event so we would have a qualifying session although this did lead to us having to do a little bit of park up the grid and shuffle the cars around to try and get everybody in order um we would have the tire rules that you see from the touring cars so you would have uh, be spread over three races one race you could run the soft tires the other two races you'd have to run the medium tires however you had to designate what races was going to be run with what after qualifying and uh, we would also have success ballast for the top five finishers the first place getting the heaviest and you know down as we went and a reverse grid for the third and final race all in the hope to make a nice exciting and interesting sort of touring car race day so here we are on the grid for our first race the voxels have somewhat struggled in qualify an hour and a couple of places ahead of me is the best of the voxels we are having to do a very convoluted start procedure uh, to make this work uh, as we've done a custom grid and uh, yeah it's it's a little bit it's a little bit squiffy uh, so <laughs> a couple of slow starting cars nine tails a little bit slow away uh, we have we have got a half decent start here oh cold rear tires for a bunch of cars sliding quite a lot into turn one uh, Aaron with the lead voxel is away quite nicely. I don't know whether we're going to be able to do a huge amount through here. Uh, patience is going to be, I think, the order of the day. Shadow out wide. I was not particularly great through Maggots and Beckett's, which is not ideal here. Uh, now, of course, we are on the medium tyres for this first race. Uh, there are a few cars running soft. I know Ewan is on soft tyres. Ewan is hoping to make the most of the soft tyres to move forward. I'm saving my soft tyres uh, till the end. I'm expecting to not necessarily have a great race here and I'm hoping for the final race at the reverse grid to be able to make the most of some soft tyres. I figure that's my best shout at a good result, but I don't know, really. That's that's just what we are, what we are hoping for. Uh, but we shall see. We shall see how it all hands out uh, in this. We'll see how Ewan gets through the traffic as well, of course. Starting further back on the on the grid, yeah, you may have trouble with the uh, getting, getting through the field, even though the soft tyre should be a second or so a lap quick. Probably less significant around here of all the circuits, uh, but there we go. Uh, now, Aaron is battling away with one of the Fords, uh, with Gliska alongside. We've got a couple of Fords further back, and Pega is leading the way with the Ford, I believe, at the moment. But the Subarus are good handling, but they do struggle a little bit down the straights, uh, although not by too much. They are all, it's all pretty close together. Uh, Gliska is up to the inside, and I'm going to make the most of Aaron running slightly wide. We're going to struggle to get all the speed on the exit. Don't think Aaron expected uh, there to be a voxel on the inside and we have all come, come flying past. We're up to ninth. Not too bad. They're not, not terrible. Not terrible in all of this. Uh, oh, at the end of the start-finish strike, try not run too wide. Uh, Ewan is still stuck behind us. Those soft tyres have not really done all that much. We've been able to defend where we've needed to down here and yeah, so far Ewan has been unable to really make the most of them. I can't remember exactly who else is on the soft tyres. Aaron is... In fact, if Aaron wants to get stuck fighting with Ewan, that helps me out. We can focus trying to chase down. It's almost three wide up ahead. I mean, it's a proper... So they've got proper touring car battles going on. Looks like Longbow is up to second ahead of one of the Lavorgs, one of the Mercs. Oh, another one... Uh, is that one of the... No, nope, that's another Super actually. I take it back. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> can't, they can't really tell everything going on back here. Ewan, with a better lap, is right behind now, having a bit more of a look. Ewan is going to have a lot more of a serious look this lap around into Turn 1, I think, through here. Uh, we will try and get the car slowed through Turn 1. Ewan just has got more grip than me, but just cannot make the most of it. Uh, we are frustrating our fellow Voxel 
in all of this. I want to go chasing off after Gliska and Chris with that Subaru. I think I might be in trouble here. Uh, we've gone too deep down there. And sure enough, you was going to find a way past eventually there. Uh, Shadow is up to 11th in all of this. Uh, Ninetales is just stuck in the traffic. I mean, we are all very, very close in terms of in terms of pace with this stuff. Will you... I mean, if you and... If I can be clever here... Let's say if I can be clever. If I can sort of latch onto the back of Ewan's car and make the... Uh, make the most if Ewan happens to battle with anybody and I can maybe sneak past, although we've not quite been able... We've not quite been able to stay there. That is the issue that uh, we have found. Uh, I say there's a lot of understeer through turn one. There is a fair bit of understeer, and now we've got a Ford for company that I don't want to have to battle with. Yeah, we've not really been able to make a huge amount of progress oh, forward after the kind of initial start. That can happen sometimes at this circuit, uh, it, can, it can just be a little bit of a train. I mean, this is the only actual circuit the BTCC cars run around. Chris is going as defensive as they can uh, down here. I am going to not chase Shadow across the road. I thought about it. Let's get found a way past. Nicely done there. Um, so, yeah, in, in the end, I could have chased Shadow across the road, but I felt like we we're going to be on such a bad line at the end of the straight that it wasn't really worth it. And in the in Shadow couldn't really make most of it. Oh, there's contact up ahead. The Subaru got sideways. Uh, I am going to say thank you very much indeed. Not quite close enough, unfortunately. Ewan may be in trouble. Tried to go around the outside of the Lavorg. Hasn't been able to do it. Might end up letting us alongside here. Now, I've got to get this braking zone spot on. Oh, there's a Lavorg in front of me. Uh, I feel like the Lavorg broke a little early. Uh, we are on the power and we've snuck past a Ewan. And Shadow's come with us. Going to sit in the slipstream of a Lavorg down here. Can we... Uh, I don't want to have a dive on Chris. I'm contemplating it. Uh, oh, not quite. Problem is, I'm now boxed in. Shadow's going to go around the outside of us. Shadow's going to run out of road, I think, through there. Uh, <laughs> it's a proper touring car battle through here. Uh, oh, come on, get on the power. The Lavorg's sliding a little bit. The Astra's understeering a little bit. Shadow is now alongside. We've got a few laps to go. We have got the speed on the exit there. Uh, oh, Shadow's now got to deal with the Ewan again, who's going to be very frustrated in this battle, having spent a lot of the early part of the race trying to get past me. Finally does, and then gets in trouble the instant they have to fight Subaru. So, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's not gone amazingly well for Ewan. It's not gone amazingly well for the Astras, to be fair. But, oh, no, that's a lot of understeer there. We're going to run wide. We might be vulnerable to Shadow at the end of the straight. I'm hoping we can get some slipstream from the Subaru here. Uh, we're going to have to... I mean, we are. We have got the inside line. We're going to have to try and defend as, as vigorously as we can down here and keep Shadow behind, which we do. Oh, but we've got a Lavorg in the way again. Uh, <laughs> Chris is in the way. want to get Chris out of the way, uh, but I just can't quite at the moment. Uh, the Lavorg slides on the exit there. Got it. I'm big train of cars down here. We've actually got quite a run here. This might be one of the best chances we've got at getting past that Subaru. Can we do it into the first corner? We've been quite good under brakes through here. We know the Lavorg struggles on straight line speed. Uh, problem is, though, of course, we are side by side. Here comes Shadow with a lot of speed. Which way is Shadow going to go? No, Shadow's just going to sit and bide their time. Ooh, uh, we are to the inside through the, well, I say maggots, and, well, I guess it's just maggots, really, isn't it, on this layout of the track. We are past the Lavorg. Of course, we've got no slipstream now. Subaru is the slower of the vehicles in a straight line, but is the better one in the corner. We are going to be past now. Can we hold on to this one? Oh, here. That's a lot of understeer. For me, that's not great. Subaru is back alongside. It's going to look a long way round here. Might be able to do something. Uh, we've got to squeeze Chris as far as we can. That is as far as we can do it. But we've got that acceleration. It's an absolutely brilliant battle here over the lower parts of the top ten. There's a whole plethora of cars 
coming to join in this fight, and I've got to take a, a shallow line through here. And Pega is out in front. Gliska has just got clear of this fantastic fight. There is Actually, there's a big old scrap going on in front as well. It's been an awful lot of fun, this race. Uh, Chris is trying to... It's been a proper touring car race. And we get a little bit of a bump through there. That's fine. I'm not too fussed, because if we can get off that corner ahead of Chris... The, the Vorg we know is going to struggle up. Oh, there's been some shenanigans further back. Don't quite know what happened there. But there has been a bump and a shunt. And a few cars have gone a little bit wide. We have just got to get down into these final couple of corners. Uh, keep the focus behind that has got past the Lavorg. And we will round the final corner. Uh, and then it is just a run to the line. It has been absolutely manic. It's been one hell of a battle, one hell of a tussle. I, you know what? We're getting across the line in eighth. Considering we weren't, didn't have a great spot on the grid, I'll take that. I will, <laughs> I will take that. Oh, bloody hell. What a mad, mad race. And Pega takes victory. Brazen is second ahead of Longbow. Liam up in fourth. And it is Stevie, Dangerman, and Gliska ahead of a huge scrap. Ugh. Eighth place in the first race. Now we and ballast move on to the next one. After a quite frankly amazing first race, we head into round two. We've gone to the international circuit of uh, of Silverstone. The grid is in the finishing order, as it was from the first race. The top five cars have got Ballast, Impega with the most, going down to... I've forgotten who was fifth. Uh, Stevie, I think, uh, with a little bit of Ballast. So Danger Man has none. I don't have any Ballast. I'm still on the medium tyres. There's a few cars. Various vehicles are running soft tyres in this race. I am keeping my softs until the very end. Uh, we are off and underway. We have had a good start. Liam's a bit sluggish away this time around. Uh, the <laughs> the Lavorg of Brazen is off the line fantastically well. Longbow is sliding. We're sliding. That is some cold rear tyres for you in the front wheel drives. So Stevie has a little bit of ballast, not a huge amount. When, when, wanted to go across, could not get across in time to uh, to really do a huge amount about uh, about the Stevie there. Stevie may fire out the inside through here. Now Brazen might be a sitting duck down the straight here. Has ballast. The Lavorg is the slowest of the cars in a straight line. So we are hoping we can sit in the draft of somebody. Danger Man is the leader of the light cars really. Uh, he's pushing Brazen down the straight. I'm not too fussed about defending from Stevie. I think there's a too big a line of cars down here. Stevie's just not going to be able to take the momentum through all of that. There is a Lavor poking its nose. That's Chris uh, poking its nose around. Oh! I was not expecting Longbow to break quite so early in front. I'm very sorry, Longbow. Uh, we all got boxed in. I, was, I momentarily looked to the side, just to look at Chris, and I wasn't quite prepared for... Uh, for that, so I do apologise to uh, to Longbow there. Uh, it did look like a maybe slightly bit lucky collision as well, didn't help, but uh, never mind. We are side by side with Stevie heading into turn one. We are going to fire the Astra past, and we've got to make this work. We need to get clear. So we need to get clear. We want to get clear of Stevie if we can, and try and go after this lead group. If Brazen and Impega keep everyone sort of backed up, that would help. I'd say that would help. That would help us kind of re re catch up. Uh, Impega out a little bit wide. Might come under threat from Gliska, who has worked their way through quite nicely. We've not had a great first lap. I shall be honest on this one. Um, I can't remember who's on. I did have, make a note of who's on what tyres. We have got a note of who's on what tyres. I have forgotten. Impega's on softs. I do know that one. Uh, which, I mean, will help with the ballast. So, you know, you might be able to make them... <laughs> get as good a result as possible from that car having um, maximum ballast on it because uh, while it is quite heavy now Brazen's still leading the way but is starting to form a train of Gliska, Danger Man, Chris we are hopefully going to be there shortly we've pulled a little bit of a gap to Stevie while that lot have a very big squabble uh, over 7th place essentially which is, which is good, which is fine uh, <laughs> right, Brazen Hold the pack up. Oh, Gliska up on two wheels. Big, big, sketchy moment for the focus there. I mean, we've got all... We haven't got a Mercedes in, in this group. We've got a lot of the manufacturers represented in the top six, which is what we want. Uh, the liveries 
are being iffy and sometimes loading and sometimes not. Uh, Danger Man and Gliska got a little bit together there. We've got a good run down here, and I mean, we've got, we're going to have the speed, and Pega's car is very heavy. Uh, so is Brazen's. Christ, the Lavorg is basically going backwards. Down here, we are to the inside. At the end of the straight, we will pass Impega. Impega's got a lot of mid-quarter speed, though, of course, on those soft tyres. Uh, and the rest of us on mediums, not able to match uh, quite the focus there. Uh, we are all going to be bunched up. And the Astras... Oh, Danger Man and Chris got connected. Uh, we are going to sneak past, but Impega's going to get underneath here. Brazen with a big two-wheel moment up on the side. We are going to sneak past here. And that will put us into a third position. Gliska now leading the race through this. We will chuck it through turn one. And we carried great speed through there. A little bit of understeer from us. Impega looking to the outside. Impega might make that one work, to be fair. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a good pass if Impega can hold that one off. Uh, it might say it might not matter too much because we're about to go onto the straight as the soft tide focus sits around the outside. Stevie's caught back up as we've all been fighting one another. Uh, we will try once again to outrun that Ford, and we do uh, down the back straight. We will get across in front and go back onto a normal racing line. Oh, although I can't turn in, can't turn in like the focus can. In fact, can't turn in like the Lavorg can. Uh, although, then again, we get better acceleration now on the exit. Whoa, we will try and outbreak the Ford, which we do. We pull it up in time. It's a uh, little bit of a... It's a little bit of a block pass in that one. We got the car through, and Impego just didn't have any way to turn underneath. We are up into third now. Uh, maybe we should have gone soft tyres in this race. See, I, I opted to put my soft tyres last because I wasn't expecting to make as much ground in the first race. I was expecting to struggle more. I was expecting to be further back. Uh, so, yeah, we opted for a third race reverse grid being uh, needed for soft tyres. But this, this is uh, not quite what I was expecting necessarily. Brazen is putting all the pressure of the world on Gliska. Uh, even with all the ballast, uh, uh, the Lavorg is very much there. Oh, Brazen might be on the soft tyres. It might be what you would do in that situation. Um, but there we go. We will see what we can do about catching these two. I don't know. We should, in theory, have the pace on the Lavorg. In theory. Brazen's car is quite heavy now. And even if the Astra isn't great, it should outdo that. Uh, we have now pulled clear of Impega. So, strategy-wise, it is working for us. The group behind us spread out a little bit. I can see a couple of the Mercedes further back. Hopefully, Danger Man has, I say, recovered. I don't quite know. Danger Man and Chris got a little bit connected. Don't quite know how far Danger Man ended up off the circuit. Oh, Impega's off the circuit uh, through turn number one, by the looks of it. Uh, it, it happens around here. I'm going to guess may have hit a curve and got a two-wheel moment and had to correct it. Uh, now, I'm trying everything I can through here. Everything I possibly can. And we are struggling. We're very much on the pace of Brazen and Gliska. We're just not catching. When we catch Brazen down the straight, if I can not go wide, that would be... That would help us. Uh, well, uh, that's fine. If they fight each other as well, that would really help us. Brazen's definitely looking racy up there. Gliska had to defend a little bit through the final corner. And if they start fighting like that on the last lap of the race, could we sneak ourselves past? Maybe. There's half a chance. If Pegas actually had an all right lap there to gain some time on us, I think, a little bit. Well, it's still around that second or so mark. Through turn one, we send it. Uh, Gliska's going to defend. Yes, kind of. Uh, it's not quite as much slowing down as I'd want to see. Because while Gliska may have the slightly faster car, having to defend from Brazen will mean they're taking slower lines, potentially. And that will then, yeah, slow their lap time down. Uh, can we be close enough in the slipstream? I mean, Impega's done great to hold fourth 
with that car. It is on the soft tyres, but it's very, very heavy with weight. Uh, <laughs> Brazen's done well also for another second place. I am... Why? Well, I say another second place. Who knows what might happen in the final quarter. Unlikely that I'm going to be able to do anything. Brazen's looking to send it to the inside through here. Not quite close enough, really. Uh, we attack the kerb through there. Little to all. Oh, Brazen has got to the inside. Oh, Brazen's going to get launched across the kerb, but the Lavorg is not going to have the straight line speed. Gliska will win. Brazen will take second. We get on the podium with the, the, with the Vauxhall. Almost got a car wrong. Almost called it a Volkswagen. Woo! <laughs> I'll tell you what, Impego was fast. Uh, Impego was very quick indeed in that one, all things considered. Um, yeah, we got it on the podium. Uh, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy with that one. Oh, good race. Good race. It was good fun indeed. We go into the final race. We get the, the beautiful voxel on the podium. But yeah, we head into the final race. We will have ballast. And it's a reverse grid race. Oh dear. We head into the final race. Turns out, a lot of the cars around me in race two were on the soft tyres, including Gliska. So, I go into the final race, I'm on softs. However, we A, start a long way back with a reverse grid, um, and B, have quite a lot of ballast on our car, which isn't great. Uh, I don't know what we can do from here. I'm hoping the tyres are going to rectify some of the difficulties of carrying the weight uh we are going to see though uh what we can what we can do with this uh the astra i have to say astra, I have struggled a little bit i i've done better than i thought i was going to do with the astra the other astras are all towards the front of this one uh the, none of them had a particularly great race number two we get very sideways through to one but brazen the uh, rear wheel drive car uh, has got a little bit more heat in those rear tyres and is less oversteer like the sausage kerb is nasty and bounces around. Liveries are just not loading for most of the cars, but there we go. All right, come on, Astra. We can get through all of this. Uh, now, the soft tyres, in theory... I mean, as we've gone, so we've gone through the sort of layouts of Silverstone. The soft tyres may be a little bit more significant here uh, than at some of the previous, say, so a little bit more. Uh, but I don't, I don't really know. We'll see. Uh, as I said, I, if I can make up the deficit from the weight with the tyres, I'd be relatively happy with that one. Uh, we'll be going. To, I'd be very happy with that one. To be fair, uh, <laughs> that would that that would help us out. We're not going to be the only ones on soft, though. Of course, up at the front, Liam, who started uh, in the top three, they are on soft with the Lavorg, having had a terrible second race. Uh, so they're definitely one to watch out for. Okay, the Lavorgs up at the front. There's Chris was involved in an accident in the second race. They started towards the front. Nine Tails had technical issues. They start at the front. So <laughs> yeah, Liam has now got to the front of the race. Uh, what can we do here? Shadow looks out of position. I will say thank you very. Oh, thank you very much for that one. Let's not end up in the back of Impega's car. Uh, there is Aaron with one of the one of the other Vauxhalls. Speed Beast is started for about third, I think, with the Vauxhall. So we will see if we can do anything about... Uh, can we be the best finishing Vauxhall in this race? That's that's the goal here. Uh, toward the end of the straight we go. We will defend from Shadow. Now, Shadow's car much lighter than mine, but I'm hoping we have more grip than, than Shadow's focus. Gliska is always going to have a bit of a tough time. Uh, <laughs> maximum ballast and is on medium tyres going into this race. Uh, we are neatly through here this time around. Can I follow Impega? Impega's going to pass Aaron. I'm hoping we can sort of follow the focus on its march up through the field. I mean, Impega's got quite a lot of ballast, not quite as much as previous. We will launch it very sideways for us. Oh, no, grass. Oh, oh that curb's horrible. I'm incredibly sorry, Aaron. That, so I had no grip on the grass, and then the curb just fired us into the track. Uh, oh, there is an Astra off. Oh, there's some more cars having adventures. Aaron, unfortunate. I said, Aaron, unfortunate that one. Not really sure what I could have done. When I saw I was heading towards that orange, the, the, sort of the red curb, I tried to pull the car to the inside, but I got no grip. We we're on dirt in these. Actually, thankfully, Aaron did not lose too much time. So that's, that's good news. Uh, can we get... 
to the inside of Speed Beast. We can, we will dive and make a pass stick there for 12th place. It's say it's only 12th. If we can get into the top 10, I'd be relatively happy. I don't think anyone's catching Liam. Uh, not only are we a fair way back, we're ballasted and Liam's on the same tyres as us. So <laughs> Liam's faster than me with this game. So yeah, I think it's going to be a tall order that. Uh, I'm just hoping we can go for a good race. Speed Beast, you're not going to really pass into the old turn one. Uh, very unlikely. Uh, it's such a small, even in these, it's such a small braking zone. You've got to really be fully alongside somebody if you're going to make that one work. Uh, don't know, oh god, okay, don't attack those curbs either. Thinking Pega also hit one through there. Uh, we, okay, there we go, nicely does it. There's a little bit more rally cross up ahead uh, from a red car. Could be a Mercedes, could be a Ford. It could even be a Lavorg with a livery, I don't know, <laughs> I can't see. Uh, but, you know, it's just, it's just how it's going at the moment. Uh, now, neat and tidy, no more hitting of curbs, please. Uh, some side-by-side -side antics going on with the Mercedes and I presume Ewan, someone has bailed into the pits. I'm gonna guess someone had an incorrect amount of fuel in their car and that is someone dropped down the order. That will put me one place closer to my goal of a top 10. Uh, <laughs> that is unfortunate but it is, oh it was nine tails, nine tails has not had, has not had a day to remember in this one. It has not gone well for the Nine Tails here. Um, but there we go. We are up to 11th now. Can we catch one of the Mercedes, maybe? Uh, actually, I can spy a Ewan, I believe, who would be the highest placed of the Astras. Can we get... I mean, if we can get past Ewan, we'll have the best finishing position for all three races with an Astra. That is provided we don't succumb to Speed Beast and Aaron, who but we've got we've got the line of Astras going on here for 11th at the moment. Uh, I mean, we are struggling a little bit with the ballast. Uh, it is safe to say. Uh, I, I, don't, I think of these cars, the Astra is. It's not miles off the pace of the others, of course, not far off. But uh, I think it is a little bit little tiny bit slower perhaps uh, they have s seemingly struggled uh, it might just be me but yeah we are struggling to keep up with Impega now Speed Beast is going to have a look around the outside but this is a, as I said last time around this is a difficult corner to go and make a pass stick uh, we will hold off that one Aaron is going to go and have a look you can try cause I'm very slow, well not very slow but I'm much slower accelerating, uh, can have a look going down here uh, not quite. Not quite going to find a way past. Oh, someone has had a big off. Uh, that is a Ewan. Oh, Ewan's going to join the Astra battle. <laughs> all the Astras are together. <laughs> Despite being all over the place in terms of the grid, all the Astras have got together. Uh, fantastic. Chris has disconnected, which has put me up to ninth. Fantastic news. We're in the top ten, and we're going to have to try and deal with Shadow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to deal with Shadow with... No, I don't know what tyre Shadow is on in this massive fight. Liam's miles out in front. We kind of expected that. Uh, I think it's Blakey in second, if that is the livery. I think Blakey's in the, the Napa liveried Ford. I think I saw that one had loaded. So I think that's Blakey in second leading a really big fight. Uh, now, we are yeah, not close enough to anybody up ahead. So for me, this is a lot of this race now is going to be looking back and defending as much as I can. Oh, that's very wide though. That's not going to help me. Uh, we are going to be wide on the exit. The only plus point I got is we are still on the inside down here. We do have those soft tyres. Oh, that sausage curve is horrible. Uh, now I know there's going to be a Ford alongside. If I can get the power down and maybe we can try, because the problem with my weight is going to make this really awkward. We were just clear of Shadow, it was very close. We're going to have to defend down here. Aaron, I don't think, is going to want to look to the inside. I, I, I seem to remember doing this in the first race quite a lot against Shadow. Shadow's lost the back end through there, and Shadow's going to lose a whole heap of positions. Uh, I only I only wandered wide, and I say kind of shut the door, but I only wandered wide when, I, when Shadow had... Uh, 
run out of grip and was already well off the circuit. Uh, I was leaving space there for a shadow, but this fight is going to really drop us away from the group ahead. So the battle for ninth is going to continue. Aaron is going to go for it at turn one. He said it's difficult at the first corner, and, he, and even, <laughs> even Aaron couldn't do it. So that's where I've got maybe the, the, the soft tyres are just helping me. I'm struggling on the straight, really struggling on the straight, but I'm able to fend off... Ooh, God, I tell you what, the back end's got quite lively all of a sudden in this. Oh, that, that's all wrong, I think, through here. Uh, Aaron's out wide. Oh, Ewan's had an off. Ewan's backwards, I think, through Maggots and Beckett's. I think that's the end of a <laughs> end of a Ewan charge. That's come, that's come and gone. Um, right, what can we do? Can we fend off? Oh, Aaron sold us a dummy. That's actually quite a good dummy. I will credit where credit is due. Uh, oh. Aaron tried to shut the door on us and gave us a little nudge out wide, but I, I think this is really it's like an only a matter of time sort of a thing before Aaron finds a way past. It is one more lap to go. What will Aaron be able to do? Will Shadow be able to do anything if we fight each other too much? Possibly. Uh, now we are gonna I mean we're gonna try and defend at turn one. I think we'll have the grip, yeah. Aaron doesn't want to go around the outside. Uh, can we maintain the momentum through here and make it difficult? Because I think even if Aaron sends it, I don't think Aaron's stopping that one. Uh, nope. Because <laughs> like that, I can always just cut back. I can always, because I have got the grip of the soft tyres here. Uh, Brazen is sitting, just kind of watching this fight. Shadow is about to come join the antics here. God, those cars are so much faster than me down the street. <laughs> no, go away. Go away. Uh, it really is, really has, I think, killed our lap time. We were, we were struggling to keep up with Impega anyway, but uh, yeah, this one has very much killed the... The battle has very much killed any chances we had. It's great fun, though, and this is the touring car racing you want. Even though we're only fighting over ninth, this is the sort of battling you want. Uh, now, Aaron will be a bit too far back to try into turn one. Uh, and we know we're quite quick through... Well, not turn one, old turn one. We know we're quite quick through there anyway. Uh, as is Shadow. Now, if they go side by side through Maggots and Beckett's, that would really help me. Uh, if I can not hit a curb and get it right through here, that would also help me out massively. Ooh, turned in a little bit too soon. Uh, ooh. I'll tell you what, with the ballast on the car, it has made the Astro a fair bit more leery. Uh, <laughs> back end really wants to step out. Shadow's all over the place. We are going to defend. We're not going to defend fresh air. Uh, Aaron wants to go for it. Shadow is not close enough. Aaron's not going to get past by the braking zone. We're going to send it under brakes, and we will hold on to this place for now. We have clung on throughout this race. Is Aaron going to be close enough? I don't think he's really close enough to make that one work. I've missed the brakes through here. The only plus point is so did Aaron, and Shadow's going to get boxed in by a whole load of voxels as we round the final corner. It's a drag race to the line, and we will hold on for ninth. <laughs> Oh, it was a great race. I mean, we were terribly slow. I really <laughs> struggled, really, really struggled for pace around there, as did Brazen. Gliskin knew the very heavy focus was going to have a tough time, and it did. Um, the Astras did not really enjoy <laughs> Astras are maybe not the way to go. Liam took victory. Blakey was second. Longbow was third. Stevie, consistency from Stevie up in fourth. Art gets up into fifth. Good, good, good race from Art there. Uh, yeah, I mean, our, our fighting really did not help our pace, but it was very good fun. <laughs> it was very good fun. The heavy Astra, not the one, not the, <laughs> does not carry the weight so well. I'll say that much. Oh, well, there we go. What a, what a fantastic amount of fun with touring cars.
So, on to the points, and it is very, very close. Uh, Impega would take Victory Hack tied on points with Longbow, but by virtue of having a highest, best-placed finish, Impega taking a victory, Longbow only ever taking a second, it would be Impega that would win the event. Brazen uh, would be in third ahead of Liam. Liam had an absolutely terrible second race, but <laughs> scored well in the first and third, so still was right up there. Stevie, uh, very, very consistent. Stevie would end up in fifth, one point ahead of Gliska. Me and Blakey would be tied on points. Uh, Blakey taking it uh, for having a better finishing position than me. Uh, I I struggled with the Astra, but getting a <laughs> getting okay points in the first and third, and a strong, very good strong finish with a medium tyre somehow in that second race it worked wonders for the Voxel. I would be the highest of the Astras. We just beat out uh, Danger Man. Uh, Art had a poor qualifying session, actually on medium tyres when we did the qualifying. Uh, so we started towards the back of that, but did recover uh, as the races progressed to get some decent finishes towards the end. Shadow uh, would be 11th head of Aaron with the with another one of the Astras. As you can see, the Voxels did not have the best of times. Ewan would be uh, 13th, a point ahead of Rusky. Chris had some bad luck as well along the way. would end up 15th ahead of Speed Beast. And Nine Tails had the worst luck I think I've ever seen from a terrible start in race one, a disconnect in race two, and underfueled in race three. So I had to stop. Yeah, that, that was not, it was not a Nine Tails evening, this one. However, this wasn't actually a huge amount of fun to do. It was a really, the racing in themselves was great fun. Um, there were some really, really close battles along the way. The whole tyre strategy and, and success ballast on the most part worked. The final race, I might tweak the reverse grid if we do this format again a little bit in the sort of me, Brazen, Gliska were well, kind of screwed. If I'm honest, did that one, we really, really struggled. Um... So yeah, maybe a little bit of tweaks along the way. However, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It, this was this was great fun, uh, and I hope you have all enjoyed this format. I hope you have all enjoyed this video, as that is going to be it uh, for today. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.